As a kid, I was a big fan of cars, like most racers. And um, I think there's always a moment when you when you figure out that you're a car enthusiast. Mine was, I was five years old. I was sitting in the passenger seat of my dad's 912E, going from Colorado Boulevard to Hamden in second gear. Uh, I went around the corner a little bit aggressively, a little bit of tire noise. From that moment, I paid attention to every single shift of every car I was ever a passenger of. I, I began to obsess about cars, but never really thought I could make it a living. I volunteered as a mechanic on a race team. Terrible mechanic, but uh, traded that time for seat time in a race car, got my license, went SCCA racing. From there, I uh, got into stunt driving, did Dukes of Hazard in 2005, and done a lot of movies since then, and got into television a little bit as a drifter, sport of drifting. Uh, when I was uh, doing drifting, I, I started doing a show on the Speed Channel and on ESPN, and so that developed three careers. Uh, driving, hosting TV shows, and stunt driving, and I love each one of them. In my career, I've really focused on doing things that keep the fun in driving. Whether it's Top Gear, which is a show that's basically about having fun with cars. Whether it's uh, Rallycross, which is a sport which I think looks like a video game and looks like about the most fun thing you can do with a car. Or, uh, you know, just in social media and stuff like that, everything that I usually like to talk about is, is keeping driving fun. I still love driving. I just love, uh, I mean, I make downshift noises when I am pushing a grocery cart going from aisle to aisle. And I, I'm just into it. I love rally racing. When I was uh, a kid, and I, I was never a motorsports fan. I never really followed IndyCar or NASCAR or anything like that. I was just wanted to see if what what the job was. What you know, what was a driver going through to do the job? And with rally racing, I remember seeing a Colin McRae video in the early 90s, and you could see this, the front tires turning and spinning, and, and it's so dynamic, you can see what the job is. You can see exactly what the driver is going through to get the job done. I was lucky enough for eight years to race rally through the forest, and it, you have a co-driver there telling you notes on exactly how sharp every single corner is, and it is scary, dangerous, it's so committed, and it's spectacular. The nice thing about the US Top Gear is they never try to slot us into individual roles. So we get to just be ourselves, we're competitive. I'm competitive obviously from a racing background. Rutledge is goofy and always afraid to push the gas pedal and Adam crashes just about everything he gets his hands on in real life, so why fake it? When we did the Hot Wheels jump at the Indy 500, I was like, yeah, it sounds good. We'll you know, go down the road, see how it goes. And then they showed this engineering diagram of this ramp, the landing ramp, and then a little piece of lint in the middle, which was the truck in the air. It's a daunting, scary thing. But when you build up to it slowly, and suddenly you find yourself in the air, and you are in that little piece of lint in front of 300,000 people, hoping to land at some point, um, you know, that's when the world records happen. I don't want to do the loop again. That was, uh, <laughs> that's why the loop is something you can't start small and build from it. You just basically have to Rochambeau with the other stunt guy and see who goes first. Every single turn of every single track that you've ever driven in either Motorsport 5 or in Horizon 2, it's mind boggling the amount of detail that goes in. There's literally a sculptor that comes in to shape a, uh, a statue in the virtual world that is in reality in Prague. And that's just one of the statues that you blaze by on a racetrack. And you apply that to just being able to drive off on Horizon 2 off into a world and decide where you want to go. And it is absolutely difficult. It's impossible to comprehend. Having my race car in Forza's, it's very strange. You know, I meet a, a lot of people at the track and I love talking to car enthusiasts at the track, but when they say, oh yeah, no, I, I, I drove your car. And you know, they, and they, they, they we, we have that bond together where we have, we, we've driven the same car, we've raced the same thing. Sometimes we've raced against each other. And um, I mean, it's really cool that people have access to that. And it, uh, the number one question that I get asked from anybody that I interact with um, on a professional level is how do I get your job? And so for those 
people on uh, Forza Motorsport to be able to experience the car and have my job there uh, at that moment, it's a great thing. And, and I think people should do what they love for a living. So hopefully somehow that inspires them to go chase down their, their dreams and make it their job. The Beetle I'm racing this weekend, it is a 1.6 liter, 540 horsepower, all-wheel drive Beetle that goes zero to 60 in two seconds flat. It is a monster. You don't hear that about the Beetle very often, but it is a vicious little Beetle. They are so wickedly quick and so awesome. I, I wish I could just take every single person in the bleachers for just one lap, and they would be absolutely hooked for life. Drive the Rockstar Energy Drink Rallycross Beetle and Forza Horizon 2 and download the Rockstar Car Pack today.